All right, welcome to Bloomingdale High School, Valrico, Florida, here on a Friday night. As we have a non district game between the Leonard Longhorns and the Bloomingdale Bulls. Both teams have already clinched their seeding in their respective districts. Leonard is Class 7A, District 8. Bloomingdale is Class 6A, District 8. My name is Jim Delaney. Welcome Andrew Burdick. Again, as we will be on the telecast here again tonight here at Bloomingdale. The Bulls come in with a record of 14 and 9, 6 and 6 in their district. Leonard comes in with a record of 15 and 9, 2 and 6 in their district. Longhorns have won four in a row. Bulls have won two in a row. Andrew. You know Leonard very well, being a former Leonard Longhorn. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Longhorns, what they bring to the table. Yeah, I think we're going to expect tonight. Yeah, I think we're going to see a uh, kind of a contrast of styles here. Uh, Leonard wants to get out and run the ball, and um, I might even caught a note that Bloomingdale might kind of knock the the wind out the ball for a little bit, you know. So we got two contrasting styles, one fast and uh, one slowing it down. So which one prevail? Yeah, it, it should be interesting because uh, with the contrasting styles and this being a non-district game, um, the way the postseason is set up now is strength of schedule is very important. In the past, with both teams having clinched their seeding in their own district tournaments, uh, you might say, well, the game doesn't really mean as much. But that's not true because if either one or both of them make it to their respective district championship games, uh, Strength of schedule comes into play, so a win tonight would help either team if they do make it to. Uh, that is a good part week. about this new yeah. um, system, huh? Yeah. Every game matters. Yeah, every game matters. So they're very comparable teams, and the big big part about these teams is that each team is coached by one of the younger coaches in the county that have up and coming programs, big turnarounds. Uh, Coach Sean Van Zant from Bloomingdale. Uh, last year, in his first year, only three wins for the Bulls. And this year, they already have 14 and showing a lot of confidence. They are the three seed in their district for their district champ uh, district tournament next week. And then Coach Zarko Stojakovic, one of the best names in the county for Leonard, uh, his fourth year with the Longhorns. And they've shown uh, consistent improvement each year as well. So we get ready for the tip. Longhorns have it. Junior point guard Terrence Ginyard. The record holding assist maker. That, hey, a quick shot and a foul. 11 seconds into the game. So we got an early basket by Leonard. Free throw right here. Good. Early three-point Longhorn lead. Bulls win bounded. Damari McCula. Leonard coming out swinging. Yeah, they are. Two quick fouls on the home team. Blew me down. Leonard Ball, we got Gillier. Gets to the top, Dante Vaughn. Dante Vaughn had these five three-pointers uh, three to set the school record for the season. He mentioned to me, Jim, that it was only four. Yeah, four to tie. Four to tie, five, five to take the lead, according to Coach Stojakovic. Well, what Coach Stojakovic also said was he doesn't need him to take him unless he's got him. <laughs> Not be focused on the record. We'll see if he starts pulling it from NBA yeah. range. He was 3 for 13 from behind the arc last night. So, Yeah, Leonard is in their third game in four days. Sometimes that's a little taxing on the legs. Feed down low. Donato Blue. So 5-0 Leonard Lee. 
moving the ball as they get down the court. Rudy Hayes at the top. He's really been a do everything for the Bulls this year. Okay, pass. Looks like it's going to stay down here. Was it tipped? Officials are discussing. Coming back, turnout. It'll be Leonard Ball. Senior night here at Bloomingdale. For the two seniors on the team, Gable Bryant and Lawrence Bellin. We got Christian Aguilera, junior guard in the game for Bloomingdale. He's getting a little bit more playing time with Jalen Ballman having an injury this year for Bloomingdale. Ginyard and Vaughn are the backcourt for the Longhorns. Winners are four in a row. Longhorns playing the half court game here. Yeah, we got three by Junior. A little long. Rebound. Rebound, Gable Bryant. Hayes bringing it up. 5 7 sophomore point guard for the Bulls. Attempted wow. alley oop. Nice catch by Bryant. Lays it in while he's in the air. First basket of the night for Bloomingdale. 5 2, Leonard. Five and a half to go in the first quarter. Yeah, Coach Van Zandt still thinking he's playing. He's on the court. We got a steal by Bloomingdale. Ooh, that's probably going to be goaltending. That steal is Damari Makula, junior guard. Bringing up the court, Peterson, Vaughn. Donato Blue also on the court for, Long for Leonard. A little pass. Bad pass. Fish Van Zant likes that. Plymouth will turn up to be a little bit on that possession. So one point Longhorn lead, under five minutes to go, first quarter. Hayes will bring it up. Kula trying to drive left over to Aguilera. Right hand. No oh good. Follows his own shot. Nobody boxed out. Got up in the air. No foul ball. Leonard pushing it. Getting your real push. It makes a nice move. Slows up. Ooh, got, almost got away. Got away. Got a little careless with that step. It's an almost Chris Weber foot drag is what that was. Down Dante Vaughn. So it'll be turnover. Back to Glimmy Dell Ball. 4 12 to go in the first quarter. 5 4 Leonard. Uh, Leonard with the press, Bloomington broke that easily. They just kept moving, that's why. Gabe O'Brien, senior on senior night for the Bloomington Bulls. Took that pass at half court, went all the way to the left, went all the way down the lane to the layup. The defense by Aguilera, playing hard. Bloomingdale's trying to pick up that intensity. Yeah. And a little slow out of the gates. And we're very close to the Bloomingdale bench tonight. Everybody are. watching. Coach Van Sant, I think. <laughs> you can feel it. You can feel the intensity. Yeah, he still has his playing days in his head. He's fun. He's one of the bright young coaches here in the county. So Braylon Flannery in the game for Leonard. There's a turnover. Back to Bloomington. There's that slow it down that you were mentioning at the beginning of the telecast, Andrew. Hayes will bring it up. Those, those uh, lanes. Wide hands. Oh, catch and shoot. Boom. Amari Makula. A junior guard for Bloomingdale. Transferred uh, to, this, to Bloomingdale from another state. Glad to have him in the county. That's a nice shot. That's a 9-0 run. 
for Blooming now. There's another bad shot by Leonard. Aguilera with the rebound. Senior Gable Bryant bringing it up. Aguilera. Aguilera from the corner. Fakes the three, loses handle. Vaughn was bringing it up. Oh, runs in, and we got a nice pick by the ref. Unintentional, obviously. Leonard running again. Oh, falls up. Dante Vaughn with the layup. And they'll count it. And the foul. Third team foul on Bloomingdale. Two and a half minutes to go in the quarter. Bulls have a two point lead. Dante Vaughn up the line. Hits, hits the and one. Junior Tyler Smathers. A check into the ball game. Coming in for Lawrence Bellamy. But Hayes, Bond for Leonard on Hayes. Let me take more time. Oop. Tried a cross court pass. They were Aguilera in the corner. It was picked by Ginyard. And a foul. Speaking of some history, Leonard. Took my, uh, my season assist record. That's right. It, it's a little bit. Uh, Andrew Burdick refers to his his record, and he's not lying, everyone. He held the career assist record at Leonard, my uh, my telecast partner here tonight. And Terrence Ginyard broke that a couple weeks ago for Leonard. 156 assists going into tonight. He averages six and a half a game. So Leonard Ball. Mm. And they'll call charge. Bakula picks up the charge. Peterson tried to drive. Makula had his footing. Picked up the charge. So Hayes brings it up for Bloomingdale. Under two minutes to go, first quarter. Discussion on how <laughs> who's going to put the who's going to inbound the ball. So McCool at the top. As you can hear, Coach Van Sant calling out an offense. McCool down the corner into Smathers, blocked. Blocked by Peterson. Leonard pushing it up. Oh. Jaden Lacy did. Catch the ball cleanly, made his feet shuffle. So turnover, Longhorns back to the Bulls. Got a couple sloppy possessions back and forth here. Probably plays into Bloomingdale style of play, right, Andrew? They do. Yeah. This they is a, uh, yeah, this is, you can tell there's a pedigree of, of excellence here. Bloomingdale moving the ball around nicely. Brian at the top, blocked. Rebound Longhorns. Flannery pushing it up to Ginyard. There's one of those many assists. He keeps adding to the record. If he makes it, no. Almost. Jaden Lacey with the left hand misses the layup. Kula bringing it up for Bloomingdale. Getting a little crazy, almost got a backboard. I don't know how that ever was going to possibly happen. Smathers with the drive. Tyler Smathers, junior off the bench for Bloomingdale. Nice drive down the baseline. Gives the Bulls a three-point lead as we are under 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Leonard will most likely hold for the last shot here. Macy with the drive, a little short. Rebound, let's see it. 
11-8, Bloomingdale at the end of that first quarter. Uh, Leonard came out flying, up 5-0. Bloomingdale got their feet under him a little bit, went on their own 9-0 run to go up 9-5. A little bit even from there on out, but uh, Bloomingdale kind of controlling the pace of play with that slowdown. Definitely. They, again, they feed off the, the turnovers and some sloppy play. They do sure. feed off of it. And uh, uh, so what, what do you think Leonard's got to do to adjust a little bit here in the second quarter? Yeah, I mean, what they got to do is find an open guy. I think they're kind of playing that one-on-one -on -one ball. Um, and it's not working at this point. You know, they got to get to the, the, the fast break and, and make the easy layups. Yeah, and, and that's what Leonard likes to do all season. Uh, it, it, a high-flying team started very slow this year, went, went on a good run there in the middle of the season. Now they've 15 and nine, like we had said at the beginning of the telecast. And uh, this will be a pretty interesting second quarter, what Leonard can do uh, offensively, but maybe defensively be a little bit more patient. But they do like to push the ball and like to get fast breaks right. up the court. So. But then yeah. again, this game is pretty early summer when they played earlier, right? Uh, it was a, a very low scoring, I think right. 44 to 37. It was. You it know, was. So yeah, we're right on pace with that's, that. That's right. These two teams played. Um, in a Hernando holiday tournament up in Hernando County. And Leonard won that game, yeah, very low scoring game, 44-37 Longhorns, uh, which kind of feeds into Bloomingdale. But Leonard, can, can, they can play this, they can play that style. And it's a Bulls ball. Start second quarter, Rudy Hayes. Sophomore point guard for the Bulls. Over to O'Brien on senior night. The lay-in extends the Bulls lead to five. Bloomingdale, a little, little bit more intensity. Flannery at the top. For Leonard. Circus shot underneath, a little out of control. We got two Longhorn players staying down here. So Bloomingdale for temporarily had numbers. O'Brien pushing a little bit high off the backboard. There's that fast break opportunity. Wow, what an athletic move right there. Dante Vaughn. He glides. He does glide. It kind of looked like a long jumper, a triple for jumper sure. right there. I, I, a little unconventional for basketball, I'd say. That's good body control and good awareness to, sure. to keep uh, to keep his steps so he didn't get in trouble. So Blumino ball. Hayes at the top, sophomore point guard down. Hits it. Rudy Hayes, main ball handler for the Blumino Bulls this year, does have a three-point shot. That's key, you know, point guard that can shoot. Six-point Bloomingdale lead. Leonard in their own half-court offense. There's a basket. Got four-point Bulls lead. Hayes bringing it up the court. We got turnover. Couple substitutions here for Leonard. They still have Vaughn and Ginyard, their two main guards. Ginyard again, the all time assist leader for Leonard High School. Set that mark earlier this season. Ooh, away from the ball, foul. Dante Vaughn. Leonard a little bit unraveled on that position. Rudy Hayes over to O'Brien, steps behind the line, bang, hits it. Bloomingdale staying their lead with the three point shot tonight. Seven point Bloomingdale lead under six minutes to go. Coach Van Zant with a nice screen on me right here in front of us. Down the baseline, Ginyard, he almost had the slam. He went with a sure thing, make sure he just laid it in. Another guy that can fly. Absolutely, yeah, Leonard does have a couple high flyers. Uh, Bloomingdale five point lead, five and a half to go. We got a little half court trap by the Longhorns. Bulls break it. They had an open shot, it wasn't executed well. Longhorns always looking to run. 
Bloomingdale's doing a good job of finding that open man right now. They are. Really easy shots. They absolutely the are, and they've missed a couple layups, or this lead could be a lot, lot larger. So as you can tell, Leonard likes to run. They do like to run. They have a couple high flyers, like Andrew said. Prepare the cameras. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, McKinnard with the uh, over the top, this hand on the ball there. Hayes over to Bryant. To Makula. Nice drive. Oh, right there. Nobody boxed out Smathers. Headband and all. You always got like a, head, a guy with a headband off the bench. Oh, no doubt. Picks up those dirty rebounds, a couple, maybe four, six points a game. It's a great job right there by uh, Junior Tyler Smathers. Got a basketball score here in Valrico, 21-14 Bloomingdale, four and a half minutes to go in the half. That defense from Bloomingdale is just out. It is. Nice move. Don Donato Blue. Senior big man for the Longhorns, nice move off the glass, cut into that Bloomingdale lead. Hayes over O'Brien. That pick by Smathers. Oh, we had a pick and roll right there. Got picked. There it is. Great play. Dante Vaughn with the steal. Picked him. Ginyard got it. Vaughn started running. Lead pass. It's like a blown coverage in football. I feel like Hit the guy in the post. A couple times. Yeah. Looks pretty natural. Oh, I think so. Yeah, Coach Strakovich, uh like a lot of good coaches, lets his team play. I know, Andrew, you were saying before, before the game that you watched Leonard practices sometimes, and the biggest thing you notice from Coach Lyakovic is not a lot of overcoaching. Doesn't talk too much during practice, let them go through some mistakes, touch on a few things, but he lets them play in practice. And like you said, that play right there, that's definitely something that they practice, is quick little steal, and as soon as Vaughn stole it, and he didn't have possession, he took off running. And Ginyard knew it and hit him on the hit him on the fly. And it led to an easy breakaway basket. So we got new one of our sponsors. Waxu EFL I Wax you. Thank you, Andrew. And Riverview. Full body male and female. The All best right. prices. I wax you smooth.com. Better to get up in that. Thank you to that sponsor. It's one of our new sponsors. Check out our girl Val. That's it. Great, great plug right there for Val. Thank you, Val. Three point Bulls lead. Rudy Hayes bringing it up for Bloomingdale. Under four minutes to go in the half. Oh, there's another pick. Off and Dante Vaughn sensed it, took it all the way down. How quick did Leonard have three players down? Right. There? So that's how you get Hungry back in the wolves. game. Quick little defense like that. Yeah, this is a good, good matchup tonight, like we said. Contrast and styles. Both teams playing well. Ooh. Ginyard going into the stands. Somebody in the front row. Right. Okay. 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 Still yet to our first uh, double-digit score yet, but uh, yeah. I'm getting close. That's right. That's right. It's not down to a one-point Bloomingdale lead. See if Bloomingdale can uh, adjust. Nice pass underneath O'Brien from out of bounds over to Crotwell. Crotwell, Smathers, O'Brien, Hayes, and McCullough on the court for the Bulls. Three-point attempt, nice rebound. There it is, the headband right there underneath. Picks up the foul. You the could see band. that he was gonna pick up a foul. It's just one of those blue-collar workers. Do it all. Yes, Tyler Smathers off the bench. Uh, and talking with, yep, Junior, Junior for Plumino, talking with Coach Van, Z Coach Van Zandt, excuse me, before the game today, uh, when he mentioned Tyler Smathers, you could tell he was excited to have him come off the court. You know, hey, who's coming off the bench for you tonight? And when he, he, you could just tell he, he was excited about Smathers. Just hard workers, you guys like to have those on your team. So Smathers, it's front end, two shot foul. Substitution for Blumenau, Christian Aguilera back in the game for Mason Crotwell. So second shot here by Smathers. Hits them both. Of course, 
The guys with headbands always hit the free throw shots too, right? That's right. Surprisingly, it's not Granny style. That's right. Old Rick Barry style. Can spin it. Uh -huh. Now tell me, is that you think that style is coming back? I mean, the short shorts are coming back. They are coming back. There's a lot of rolls in a lot of these shorts. Uh, I guess she repeats itself. I guess right? so. So Blumino ball on the turnover as we uh, went down nostalgia lane there. Everybody. Three point pulls lead, under three minutes to go in the half. Jalen Gallman in the game for Bloomingdale. He's been injured much of this season. That's why Christian Aguilera has seen more playing time. Both of them on the court for Bloomingdale. This is going to go the other way. And foul, so to speak, right there on Jason Gallman. So, Leonard Ball under three minutes to go in the half. Ginyard will bring it up for the Longhorns. Over to Vaughn. Three point attempt. Off. Ooh, nice save. Oh, maybe not. Good hustle. Nice attempt by Joseph. For the Longhorns. Probably just a little too, too late. Getting that ball back in as he tried to jump out of bounds and get that ball back in. Bulls bring it up. Hayes. Ah, another Eric Palman of it. A little bit of a carry by Rudy Hayes. I will say, I'm pleasantly, um, I'm really happy actually to see that they're calling this, this foul. I don't think you I've know, seen right. it at all. That's twice tonight. Right, twice already. Hi. Uh, referees are right on top of it. Basic fundamentals. You know, just little stuff, they'll correct it. But it does help have an official's call a game so tight and not let kids develop bad habits in their games. Great move right there by Ginger. Took an area, hand it around the face area. But he battled through it. Hayes bringing it up. Breaks that long horn press underneath the Smathers. Nice move. Tyler Smathers, the star of the second quarter here for the Bulls. He comes off the bench for Bloomingdale. Helps extend the Bulls lead back to three. They didn't have to go in the half. High flying Leonard. Almost. A, and again, of course Smathers would try to draw the charge on that. But there was a foul before then. On Christian Aguilera. Terrence Ginyard. Terrence Ginyard at the line, hits the first free throw. Hot. <laughs> he is hot. <laughs> like we said, everybody, uh, we're close to the no bench. Coach Van Zandt tried a little one-liner on the ref. That was pretty funny. Good, friendly ribbing between the two of them. Ginyard hits them both. Now down to a one-point Bloomingdale lead. Leonard, Leonard looking to press. Blumino pushing it up. They got numbers. Aguilera, Smathers, gets guy up, draws another foul. Yeah, Blumino broke that press quite easily, and that's what led to uh, an attempt right there by Tyler Smathers. He'll go back to the line. They're doing a great job, Bloomingdale is, of, of breaking this press. That's just Leonard's game, though. It is. You know, they're, they're going to play hard on defense, fast, take chances, maybe get a pick, get a, get a steal, at least to a fast break. That's, that's their game. They're okay with giving up a few to yeah. get a couple more. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Ooh, missed them both. Rebound Leonard, Blooming are trying to press themselves. And here comes Leonard, getting here. Three point attempt, good. Good shot. Jaden Lacey, the senior for the Leonard Longhorns. Leonard pressing again, gives Leonard a two-point lead. Blumenau breaking that press again. Aguilera, one too many passes. Looks like right there for Blumenau. Aguilera trying to make up for it with good relentless D at half court. Getting your going again, wow. Well, we're talking about high flying, like you said, Andrew. They're definitely creating their opportunities yeah, right now. Yeah, they do. That fouls on senior Gable Bryant for Bloomingdale. So Leonard is in the bonus. 
17 foul on the Bulls. Under a minute to go in the half. Well, it didn't seem too long ago that it was a seven point uh, Bloomingdale lead. It was basically a 14-4 run here for Leonard. Let's see if Ginyard can add to it, and he does with the roll. The Longhorns on a 15-4 run. Extend their lead to four. Leonard looking to press again. Aguilera with the ball. And Leonard backs off a little bit. Aguilera taking it all the way to the hole. Left hand. Great move, Christian Aguilera. Press the Longhorn lead down to two. As we approach a half minute to go in a half. Great ball game tonight, just like we figured it would be. Matt, contrasting styles. Two teams looking to add to their strength of schedule with a key non-district win here at the end of the regular season. Now, Friday night in Valrico, Florida. Leonard looks like holding for the last shot to extend that lead. Ginyard at the top. It's picked by Lacey, get Leonard. Long on the three. Bloomingdale with a really long three, short. Great first half. Two point Leonard lead at the half. I think that's what we expected, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they ended on a 15-6 run to, uh, did, did the Longhorns to take a two point lead at the half. Um, Leonard started a little quick, five nothing. Then it was a 9-0 run by Bloomingdale. Then it was back and forth. Bloomingdale extended their lead to seven. And then from then on out, Leonard really turned it up. Again, they look for the steals. They look for the fast break opportunities. You notice it. They definitely have to practice that. It looks like they practice that. Uh, so. I want to mention one of our, another one of our uh, loyal sponsors, Lucas AC Services LLC, uh, one of the original sponsors here at Stream Live Tampa. We thank all of our sponsors that help extend our coverage. Remember to follow us on Facebook, or Facebook page, Stream Live Tampa. Retweet us at Stream Live Tampa and subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Stream Live Tampa. And I heard today that we're on Twitch. We're on twitch.tv now for, for the youngins. Check it uh, out. Another one of our sponsors is AB Sports Performance. And that AB, those initials, stands for my, my telecast partner here tonight, Andrew Burdick. Uh, Andrew, tell us a little bit about your, your uh, strength and conditioning business and, and what, what, what you do for athletes, adults, kids, anything like that. Yeah, let's make it quick and simple. We're wanting to work with anybody that's, that's willing to level up, willing to put in that extra step, that extra mile, wake up a little early, um, get it done. You know, it doesn't matter if you're an athlete or not, yeah. um, but we do specialize with athletes. You know, that is our niche. But we do know that there is a, always a reason to get better. If you got that reason, we're going to be your guide. That's absolutely. what we do. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, where are you based at? Where, where are you looking? Yeah, at? Palo Beach. Okay, we're actually looking at some property here in uh, South Shore. So it's yeah. um, so a little bit away from Bloomingdale, but but uh, yeah, okay. yeah we're, we're expanding. Hey, uh, good quality strength and conditioning people are tough to find because everybody says they're a trainer. Yeah. Um, a, yeah a this weekend, isn't this isn't a personal weekend training. online course. Correct. Yeah, this this is yeah. Uh, this is a guided uh, focused you know, program that we're going to tailor to your needs, you know, and it, it, and it's, you know, you can't come in here willy-nilly. No. Um, it's we're, we're looking for, you know, the Van Zandt of the world that's, that's trying it. to play at Butler, you know. That's it. That extra little step on the on the competition, that's what we're that's looking it. for. Yeah, somebody that's, you know, a little bit serious about it and wanting to work. That's right. Um, and there's plenty, plenty, but we, we appreciate, you know, not only, you know, being a part of Stream Live Tampa, being one of our sponsors, we want to make sure we, we, we talk about that, uh, at, at that in your AB Sports Performance uh, business that you have in Apollo Beach, and you obviously you're, you've got a lot of clients, and you're looking to looking at some property, looking to grow and stuff. You had mentioned Coach Van Zant at Butler. Uh, if our listening audience and watching audience did not know, Coach Sean Van Zant, head coach for the Bloomingdale Bulls, uh, played point guard for Butler University, and played in back-to-back -back national championship games, 2010-2011, uh, playing there for. Brad Stevens, who is now the current Boston Celtics head coach. And I had a chance to ask uh, Coach Van Zant on his coaching style what he learned uh, from playing under Brad Stevens and how that he's kind of translated that to his coaching style. 
And he said real easy, everybody's on the same page. All 12 kids matter. Uh, all 12 players matter. If ever, all 12 want to win, you're most likely going to win. Um, it, whether you're up 10, down 10, he said that was something that Coach Stevens always drove home with those Butler teams and obviously playing a back-to-back -back national championship games. Uh, now when we're talking nine, ten years ago. Um, th that was the that was the one thing that Coach Van Sant said. And again, they they kind of play a similar type definitely Butler offense. Uh, you got a blue collar kid and and Smathers That's is it. kind of a he's kind of a baby Gordon Hayward coming <laughs> off the bench. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that plays for Brad Stevens sure. now with the Celtics and yeah. was Coach Van Sant's teammate at Butler. Um, but so it was, it was interesting to hear him say that. And it wasn't anything really X's and O's other than everybody's got the same focus. And that's what he tries to do. He came from uh, a very successful Division II program up in Tennessee, Lincoln Memorial University, before he came back home. Because he's actually from the Tampa Bay area. He played at Wharton High School um, before going up to Butler. And now in his second year at Bloomingdale, showing great, great improvement. Only had three wins last year. They're now at 14 wins. And here, the last trying to get their 15th win tonight. They're already the three seed in their uh, Class 6A, excuse me, Class 7A. You know, with, that, 6A, with that being said, uh, just to add to you a little bit, um, it does seem like the way they play, they're all on the same page. You know, there wasn't yeah. any bickering back and forth. Um, no. You know, if anything, I feel like they're more mad at themselves when they make a mistake. You know, and it's not a yeah. uh, point fingers thing, and it's it's they're accepting responsibility for what they did. Um, and and it, you can see it comes from, and that intensity comes from Coach Van Zamp. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, he, you know, he was he was about a step and a half across the <laughs> side on the court a little bit at times. But he, you know, he yelled out a couple things and where things should go. Kids come to the bench, assistant coaches, remind them a couple stuff. You can see players talking to each other on the court. And the same with Leonard. You know, we don't want to dismiss what they're, what they're doing as well. But you can see that with, with coaches that understand let your players police themselves, not only uh, in practice, most especially in games. For sure. Because uh, practices is where coaches coach and play. And you come to the games, you back off, and you let the players kind of do right. that during the game. It's their night. Yeah, the, ga the games are supposed to be fun. For sure. And, you, and that's when you uh, implement everything that you've learned in practice. Um, so the two-point Leonard lead here at the half uh, at, at Bloomingdale, again, a non-district matchup. Here, here at Bloomingdale High School in Valrico, Florida. Both teams already guaranteed their respective seeds in the respective districts next week. Uh, Leonard will play Monday night at Newsom. Uh, that's a 4-5 matchup in, in Class 7A District 8. Bloomingdale will play Tuesday night. They'll host King in a 3-6 matchup in Class 6A District 8. One thing when talking to Coach uh, Zarco, you know, he was saying that this is kind of a good tune-up match for both teams, whereas Newsom will be a very similar style to this uh, this Bull team. Um, and Newsom then shoots the threes a little more too. What's but that? It, they shoot the threes a little more. Sure, Newsom that, does, oh, a Newsom but they definitely. But had the same type of, of style. No doubt. Um, and then, excuse me, you said King. King. Yeah, and then King is, is known to kind of speed it up a little bit more. You know, a little more fast-paced. You know, so in a way, like you said, even if there wasn't the um, you know, the scheduling involved, you're getting a good view of maybe what the other team is going to look like for your district, you know, tournament. You know, so Absolutely. this is a nice tune-up game. Um, beautiful day, right? No school for these kids right, in Yeah, Metro it was County. fair day today. Fair day, right? Fair day. So, uh -huh. yeah, uh, kids, Bloomingdale was here probably quite early. Sleep in, uh, 11 o'clock, Yeah, you I know? noticed when we got here today, the faculty parking lot was pretty bare. Sure. Um, yeah, fair, fair day here in Hillsborough County for the Florida State Fair. At uh, Hillsborough County Schools, uh, students get that, and the teachers obviously get the day off today in this Friday night matchup here in Valrico. I want to mention our sponsor, iWaxU.com. One more time, they have a new customer special, full body male and female, the best prices in Riverview. Call, call that number, 813-438-3805. And is it Val, you said? It's Valerie, yes. Valerie. Yes, sir. Ask for Valerie. That's who you want. That's I it. I trust my wife with her. I uh, like Andrew trusts his <laughs> wife. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, we're also uh, Stream Live Tampa associated with Amateur Sports TV. Uh, ASTV, your number one source for amateur sports. Uh, 
So this game is being broadcast through ASTV, which is a uh, similar type uh, format as Stream Live Tampa, but based out of Canada. Can it's a Canadian amateur sports streamline or live stream streaming company, uh, tele broadcasting amateur sports, uh, doing a lot of hockey and the northern sports up there. But right here, we've got we've been having a lot of basketball, girls and boys. We're right here at Bloomingdale on Tuesday night, Andrew and I for uh, right. district matchup uh, for girls basketball. It was a Tampa Bay Tech ended up winning that district with a win last night over the Bloomingdale girls. Both team, uh, Tampa Bay Tech in uh, in that district for girls basketball. They'll advance to the regionals next Thursday night. And we'll host those matchups will be decided on Sunday night, and it does look like we think. The Bloomingdale girls will have a, an at-large berth in the regional tournament, uh, quite possibly facing Tampa Bay Tech again, which will be for the fourth time next week at Tech. But tonight, we've got boys action here at Bloomingdale High School. If you don't mind, Jim, I'd like to throw a little shout-out out there. Yeah, go ahead. I just left the game, you know, uh, CDS versus uh, Brooks de Bartolo, yeah, and yeah. Um, another heavy hitter match. I mean, you're talking – Top 10 in the state for 3A. Yeah, um, absolutely. And they're battling tonight over at Tampa Prep. Tampa Prep. I'm um, not sure how the game's going at this point, you know, but both teams are, are, are wonderful teams. and Yeah, very and successful season definitely. so far in Class 3A girls. Girls hoops. So Leonard Ball, they'll start the second half. Can't believe it's already the second half. Just felt like it was just the opening tip. I tell you what, man, we're moving and along. High flying Leonard makes that high happen. High flying. Two point Longhorn lead to start the second half. Ginyard and Lacey, we got to travel. That'll stay Leonard Ball, it temporarily went to Bloomingdale with Bellamy getting the ball for the Bulls. Inbound underneath, Blue with the jump. Gets fouled in, in the air, banks it off the glass. Quick basket, just like the first half started. I was quick just basket, thinking the same, same thing. thing. We're talking about history repeats itself, right? Really we're quickly. Seeing, we're seeing it right here at Bloomingdale tonight. So Donato Blue. And I was talking to Coach Sarko about him. They got about a 63% uh, foul shot, and he's uh, he's kind of below that average, bringing him down. Okay. Which we saw. Yes, that's right. Seems kind of common with your your centers for some reason. That's okay. It was a quick basket by Donato Blue for Leonard. Four-point Longhorn lead. We had a tie-up right here underneath the Bloomingdale basket, or the Leonard basket, Bloomingdale possession. Possession error stays with the Bulls. Rudy Hayes looking to inbound it, gets to the top. Senior Gable Bryant playing his last game, actually last regular season game at home on senior night for the Bloomingdale Bulls. Nice drive. Demario Makula, 5'11 junior for the Bloomingdale Bulls. Banks it off the glass, back to a two-point Longhorn lead. Oh, look at this. Wide open, misses the alley-oop. Uh, Bloomingdale player slipped. That led to that alley-oop attempt. Ball back and forth, loose ball underneath the basket, O'Brien. Referee's letting them play a little bit. We got a tie ball game. A little over a minute to go, or a minute into the second half. Terrence Ginyer, 6'1 junior. Oh, steal by Hayes. All right. Dante Vaughn with the block. Blocking foul behind the three point arc. Substitution for Blooming, though, and there he is. Headband coming back in, Tyler Smathers. Had a great second quarter for the Bulls tonight. I want to thank a good buddy of mine up in South Carolina, Steve Norman, mentioning how natural I am at play-by-play. -play. Right, we're having a blast to stream live Tampa with all the local high schools. Blumino ball, tie ball game, about six minutes to go in the third quarter. Nice drive by Gabriel Bryant. Draws a foul. I think he sold that one. Those hands going up. 
foul on C.J. Peterson for Leonard. A couple substitutions coming to the ball game for the Longhorns. Braylon Flannery, Junior and Rodriguez coming in. 14 for Leonard. Coach Stryakovic trying to get a couple bench players in the game. Oh, Damari Makula stuck in the corner, stepped on the stepped on the baseline. Tie ball game. Exactly six minutes to go in the third quarter, and we have a. 31-31 game here at Bloomingdale High School, Friday night, boys basketball action, non-district play. Great move by Blue, good assist. Dumping it down low, Jaden Lacey draws the foul. Tyler, you have to get Fouls on Tyler Smathers. Donato yes, Blue looks like a football player. He does. USF would be, uh, would be happy to get a guy like that. The, the, the hair alone on the basketball court is tough, it's tough to guard. Sure is. Uh, I'm sure Coach Leonard football coach Kitchy would love to have Blue on the, on the football field. Nice move by Makula. Good ball handling skills. Behind the arc, Aguilera a little long, way long. Three-point Longhorn lead, looking to push. Again, you're bringing it up over to Lacey. Leonard stone down a little bit. Down to Blue, they don't call, letting them play. Great move, Donato Blue, great pass. Donato Blue, here in the third quarter. Been key for Leonard, extend their lead to five. Makula going down to that. Goes to the right corner almost every time he brings it up out to the natural point guard, sophomore Rudy Hayes. Aguilera into Smathers. Gets it tipped away. Back to Aguilera. Kula's got an open three. Hits it. Junior shooting guard, Damari Makula. Big three for the Bloomingdale Bulls. Down two. And there's a steal. Steal by the senior. O'Brien with a jam attempt. Gets fouled. Raise up, young fella. He knows he's in a white uniform, not playing for Leonard, right? I say that so. That was a Leonard-type play. That was a great play by senior Gabe O'Brien on senior night. You know what, though? You know, as much as it brings the crowd up, that was Absolutely. a great play. You Gary could hear foul. It. Not too bad of a crowd here tonight. Man, there is a Leonard good crowd here tonight. Down. Great move. Great athletic move by Gabe O'Brien. When I was Just watching, I wasn't sure if he was going to go with it, but uh, yeah, he, he didn't look like he was going to attempt it either, but it came out of nowhere at the it end. It did. It did. But it didn't go down. So it is a shooting foul. Two shots. A little long, that first one. So does that mean if he makes one, it's a one-point a one dunk? It could be a one-point dunk. Yeah. <laughs> They're always making up new, new stats nowadays in the world of analytics no that we're in. Uh, sometimes a little bit too, much, too many. O'Brien 0 for 2. So we got all excited. Crowd got into it for nothing. And just like that, that's a four-point turnaround. No doubt, real quick. Missed dunk, had a chance to make up for the missed dunk with two free throws, misses them both, quick basket. Two seconds down the court, easy lay-in for the Longhorns. Four-point Leonard lead, very big time out there. Good move by Coach Van Zant. Senses big momentum turn right there, might as well get his bulls. Again, like we had said, all 12. Get everybody on the same page, you, know, you don't want to get down quickly here. It's a four-point Leonard lead, and now the momentum has shifted back to, back to Coach Stoyakovich's Leonard Longhorns. Um, right right here in the third quarter, Andrew Bloomingdale now down four. Again, they were up seven. Seems like just a minute ago in the second quarter. What do they have to do? In this timeout, what do you think Coach Coach Van Zant is, is reminding them of and what they have to do as they come out of this, this uh, timeout? Yeah, I think, I think they really just got caught up playing Leonard's game, and yeah. I don't know if they can hang with that, you know. And one of, the, one of the recent possessions I heard, one of the guys, you know, on the floor yelling, slow it down. Um, and I think if they can do that constantly, you know, consistently, much better outcome for the Bloomingdale Bulls. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes, if Bloomingdale on the court has uh, Makula, Hayes, Aguilera, Smathers, and O'Brien. Yeah, that one point dunk's a new stat that Andrew Burdick made up here. That's fantastic. All right, Bloomingdale ball. Rudy Hayes bringing it up for the Bulls. Got stuck at half court. Got to be careful right there. That's a tough place to get stuck. O'Brien giving him, giving his backcourt made a little bit of room. Smathers with the top of the key. Makula behind the arc. Off. That was right in front of us. Rebound, Leonard. Lacey bringing it up. Over to Peterson. Flannery off the bench for the Longhorns. Bryant goes for the dunk again. O'Brien tried it again. Really didn't need to because nobody was on him. So we got an injury timeout here because behind that play, after the steal, Jaden Lacey was on the floor holding, holding his knee. Oh, Adam I think. Blue helping him off. Looks like Lacey will be okay. But so Lacey was caught behind that, that, that play, that action. O'Brien had a breakaway. Could have just laid it in. Went for the dunk. Missed the dunk. The ball went out off Bloomingdale. So Leonard's ball. Up to three and a half to go in the third. Flannery at the top for Leonard. Ginyard fakes it around. Aguilera. A little bit of a Julius Irving touch on that finger roll off the backboard. Picks up the fouls. A great move by Terrence Ginyard. Doesn't complete the three point play. Go, 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 tie up. Session error keeps it with Leonard. Jason Gallman back in the game for Christian Aguilera. For Bloomingdale, they're down four. 3.16 to go in the third quarter. Peterson at top, getting it back to the point guard for the Leonard Longhorns. Terrence Ginyard. Over to Flannery. Leonard setting up their offense here. Great move by Peterson. This is rebound O'Brien. Are they going to look to push? No, he's almost got stuck. He almost got double teamed right there. Great move. Short on the lay in by Makula. Back to O'Brien. Wide open three. Misses. No foul. Body's flying everywhere tonight. This is, yeah. Let the bodies hit the floor. That's it. A drowning pool. Early 2000. My goodness. Oh boy, we had a little sloppy on both ends here. Like you said, it ties into Bloomingdale's style of play. We got a three pointer in the corner, short by Makula. Rebound Peterson for the long walks. We approach two minutes to go in the third quarter. Leonard slows it down. Probably a good move right there. Junior point guard, Terrence Ginger. Ball at the top, over to Blue, Flannery. Five point long early. Push off, call is the call on CJ Peterson. Turnover. It'll be Blooming no ball. Just under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Five point Longhorn lead looks like uh, Coach Stryakovich calls a timeout. 30-second timeout. Actually, I think Van Sant called it for Bloomingdale. I think that was a beautiful timeout call. It, it, yeah. Somebody had to. Somebody, yeah, either one. Either team calls that timeout. It's a good good time. Yeah, yeah. Because last few possessions was a little sloppy. We had a four-point turnaround on the missed O'Brien dunk. Leonard went right down, had a quick basket. That was the last time we had a timeout by Van Sant. And then the team, team's getting a little, a little sloppy, maybe a little tired. Sure. Again, this is the third game in four days for Leonard tonight. Uh, this is the third game this week. Uh, Bloomingdale, it's senior night. They want to play hard for those two seniors. 
Yeah, I think the dunk really kind of changed the, uh, you know, the, yeah. the makeup of this game so far. Let's see if they can kind of bounce back Sometimes from that. Sometimes you try to play above the rim where you don't really need to. You just lay it in. And it's not flashy, That's right. but it's a basket. That's right. Back to action. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Smathers, top of the key for three. Hits and it. And he can shoot threes. Tyler Smathers, the headband. And baby Gordon Hayward right there. Ooh, and he, does he draw the charge? He does. He draws wow. the offensive foul. Hustles back down the court for He's not ball. human. <laughs> He's not tonight. That's a kid you want, a type of kid you want to have on, on a team. Because Delano Blue has been, has been hot in this quarter. It was good news. Smathers got position. Got right back down on D after hitting a big three to pull the Bulls within two. Jason Gallman. Junior for Bloomingdale having bring the ball up, had it at the top of the key over to O'Brien. O'Brien, good ball handling skills, draws the foul. And that foul's on Braylon Flannery from Leonard. That's the sixth team foul on Leonard. Almost in the bonus for Bloomingdale. Okay, they can only have one person throw it in. There you go. Gallman over to Hayes in the corner. Into Smathers. He's got one on one matchup. Off the glass. Nope. It's a good move. Leonard looking to push. There they go. All the way down. Left hand by Ginger. No good. Rebound O'Brien. Gallman, nice move. Dishes it back out. Thought maybe he had a, a look right there. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. Aaron shot. Bloomingdale the follows following his their rebound. shots. Yes. They're following the shots. That's where they're getting second and third chances tonight. Only down two. Kula with the drive. Oh, no basket. Travel. It's a great move by Makula. But he, uh, he took one too many steps. Point Leonard B. They're going to hold for the last shot here in the third quarter, I see, it seems. Junior Ginyard at the top. Leonard. Looking to run a play. Vaughn with the three. Long. Actually, that was Peterson with the three. Three at the buzzer. No good. Almost. Jason Gallman almost gave the Bulls a one point lead at the buzzer at the end of the third quarter. Still a great ball game. One quarter left to play. Leonard up 41-39. Uh, Donato Blue in that, in that third quarter was key for Leonard uh, to help maintain their lead. They were up by as many as five at one point. Uh, but Tyler Smathers, another couple key baskets. Again, he comes off the bench for Bloomingdale, and he's had, a, he's had a big night tonight for the Bulls. It's, it's that headband. Headband does it for for, for the big man off the bench, the, the junior, the 6'2 junior for Bloomingdale. Only thing I can top that are maybe some uh, goggles. Yeah, that's right. Some old school goggles. Doesn't quite have the Phil Walton hair. He's got the Phil Walton headband. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, we one of our games a couple weeks ago in the tall center for Newsom has the long red hair and the headband. He was a Phil Walton clone. But this kid right here is baby Gordon Hayward. Plays like him, hit a three tonight. Uh, got back on defense, drew a foul, uh, helping his, his fellow Bulls stay, stay in this ball game. It's a two-point game. We got a good fourth quarter coming up, right, Andrew? Yeah, big, right? Um, it's pretty much 0-0, zero, zero, right? Say 2-0 spotting uh, Leonard, so That's we'll right. see where it goes. That's right. Now tell me, before we get going, I'm surprised you have not hit on Rudy as a movie reference, as well as Hayes, your boy Hayes. I know you know Hayes. It's probably a pretty important Hayes to you. Are you referring to Wayne Woodrow Hayes? Could be, could be. <laughs> There's Smathers oh. with another, another three-point attempt. Good shot. He was feeling it. He misses it. Two-point Longhorn lead. Leonard Ball. Nice 
play by Gallman with the, the, the tip. Getting Leonard out of their game. That is way off, right in front of us. Jaden Lacey with the errant three-point attempt for Leonard. Ruby, One don't now. call me Willie Mays Hayes. There we up. go. There you go. Took to the fourth quarter. We've had such an exciting game. We can't go to the movie references too much. Hayes gets stuck in the double team. Go O'Brien. To Makula. To Mario Makula. Back to senior Gabe O'Brien. Stops for the three, way off. I think it was tipped a little bit by Peterson. A little bit of, little bit of jaw, a little bit. Friendly, friendly jaw bone on the way back. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Dante Vaughn just checked in. We haven't heard his name in a while, no, have we? Nothing. Nothing from him. I wonder what he's going to do with this last six minutes. Yeah, again, Dante Vaughn is four three-pointers away from tying the school record, five from setting the school record of three-pointers in his in a season. That's a foul on Bloomingdale. Terrence Ginyard will go to the line for the Longhorns. Shooting foul, miss, too long. Maybe Coach, Coach Stoyakovich needs to remind them, hey, let's practice free throws. He tells me he does it every yeah, day. I'm sure he does. Uh, one of the bright young coaches in Hillsborough County is Arthur Stoyakovich for Leonard. Definitely has brought the program up. Absolutely. This is the best season Leonard's had since 2014 when they went to the state semifinals. They were 25 and five that year. We got a traveling on Tyler Smathers for Bloomingdale. So three point letter lead, six minutes to go in the game. Blue calling for the ball down low. Leonard content to keeping it up top, slowing it down a little bit on their, on their end. I think Vaughn's only taken one attempt tonight from behind, behind the three-point arc. Ginyard, Peterson. Vaughn, he can create his own shot. He's catch and shoot. He really is a lot. Uh, great move by Peterson. Can't, can't cash it in, though. Great. Rebound by Blue, out to Ginyard at the top. Good move underneath, little too wild. Rebound, Blue. Blue. Wow, great rebound by Donato Blue. What a possession right there. Like two offensive rebounds for no Leonard. Doubt. And we get to finish it with, uh, you're my boy, Blue. That's it, you're my boy, Blue. That's it. Andrew Burdick with the old school reference. Got an injury on the side for Leonard. That would be junior point guard. Do everything. Terrence Ginyard. He's out of the ball game. Looks like something down on his knee. But he's off the court, so we'll be back to action. We'll keep, we can take a peek over there to see how he's doing. So Blumenau ball down five. Approaching five minute mark left in the game. Gallman to the lane, oh, drives, left hand, can't, can't execute. Leonard pushing. Too wild of a shot. Did he draw a foul on that? He got lucky. Tried to split the double team. Jaden Lacey right there. It's gonna be a two shot foul. Got bailed out there, Jim. Uh, reminder for anybody Small, medium, large businesses out there. If you want to advertise with us, get in touch with us at streamlivetampa at mail.com. Call 813-477-8429. Be happy to talk with you as we are growing here in Hillsborough County, Stream Live Tampa. Love our business partners. Don't get left behind. 
No, that's it. Time, time, time to join the revolution of live, live streaming high school athletics here in Hillsborough County. Big, big plans here at Stream Live Tampa. But for right now, it is an eight point Leonard Lee, just like that. Gallman from the side, hits, hits the side of the backboard. Leonard's overall athleticism is starting to take shape here. And it's why they, right there. Another offensive rebound. Another offensive rebound for Leonard. I mean, like that. 10 point lead for right. Leonard. Four and a half to go in the game. Timeout by Coach Van Zant for Bloomingdale. And we got a technical. You know, we had mentioned earlier there was some friendly, friendly jabbing, uh, a little jawboning with, with the players. Uh, a senior move by Gabe O'Brien as the teams went to the bench. He was walking off the court. And yeah. uh, he, he drew a technical on one of the Leonard players. I believe it was Dante Vonhoff to confirm that number. Just an errant little elbow. Sometimes it's part of the game. You know, it's been getting chippy, I think, since that Got a little, dunk, though, you know. A little, little chippy right there, but senior move by Gabe O'Brien. Uh, reminder to subscribe to our YouTube channel. YouTube channel is Stream Live Tampa. Right now we are streaming live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And soon on Twitch.tv for, for the younger generation that likes Twitch. You know, here's the cool thing, too. You know, let us know if you got a game that maybe you want us to cover. You know, Absolutely. hit us up. Let us give, it, give us your ideas. Where, where should we go next? Um, we'd love to bounce some ideas off you, you know. It's, it is a revolution, and it's it going to be something that's big. And you uh, know, Especially if you're like, hey, you know, we have everybody on our, our, our team roster, whether it's 12, 15 uh, player basketball team. We got, we're coming up to baseball and softball season. They there got go. 20, 25 player rosters. Somebody calls and says, hey, everybody on here, just subscribe to the YouTube channel, not to mention in the stands with the parents, friends, and family. Let's go. We'll go Make do it. it. Happen. Yep. We're, we're getting ready to, we've been planning our early baseball and softball schedule here That's in a right. couple weeks. Uh, but we're going to be covering some postseason basketball action next week, boys and probably girls, once That's we right. can get those uh, sketch, those, uh, those matchups confirmed. But yeah, reach out to us. We'd love to you know, go see a different school, but we have a lot of different schools planned to go see as well. So the technical, like we said, going to that time at the end, or going to the end of that third quarter, there was a technical foul on one of the Durant players, or uh, not Durant, excuse me, Leonard players. So Rudy. Rudy Hayes with the two free throws and the ball. About two, two foul shots and the ball. And this is a chance that Bloomingdale can this is what they turn needed. the tide right here. Yeah, that's what they needed. Okay. Yeah, great, great senior move by Cable Bryant at the end of the third quarter. Sure technical. So Bloomingdale down eight. And that timeout, excuse me, right there. And the foul. That is a quick four-point, basically a four-point play almost. The two free throws made by Rudy Hayes on the technical foul on, on the Leonard bench. Actually on one of the players. Uh, that looks... You see how one move changes the absolutely. dynamics. Absolutely. And junior guard Damari McCula with the drive on the baseline, makes the shot and gets the foul. Looking to make it a three point play, hits it. So that was almost like a five point play right there. It really was, that's okay. exactly what it was. And just like that, Blumenau cuts the, the Leonard Longhorn lead in half, right out of a timeout. They were down 10, now they're only down five. Four minute mark to go in the game. Looks like the starter's on the floor for both teams. For the most part, except for maybe Gallman for Bloomingdale, but he's like a starter. He started a lot right. until his injury this season, where Christian Aguilera came in for, for Jalen Gallman. But Gallman's on the floor. So Bloomingdale ball. Underneath, seven point run for the Bulls. Seven Laku points less than what? Oh. 45 seconds? Under a minute, yes. Wow. Last five right there by uh, Damari Makula. So Coach Van's hands, Bloomingdale Bulls team. Now right back in the game, one possession. 
Game down three, down low to Blue for Leonard. Draws a foul, shooting foul. Donato Blue will go to the line for two. Not much padding on these seats. You heard a smack on that seat. That didn't, that, not much padding there. And we got good intensity, late season. Near the yeah, end, of, the end of the regular back. season, absolutely. So Christian Aguilera, like we just spoke about in the ball game for Jalen Gallman from Bloomingdale. It's kind of like having six starters. So both teams starting lineups in the game. In the last three minutes and 21 seconds in the game. Donato Blue hits the second end of that two-shot two foul. Four-point Leonard Lee. Rudy Hayes stuck in the corner of the double team over to Makula. For Leonard pressing. Flamingo took their good old time to get that ball over half court. Makula wide open underneath with the lay-in. And he, he, he slipped a little bit. I thought maybe he might have slipped with the ball and uh, took that one extra step. Turnover on the travel. Ball back to Leonard. There we go, three minutes to go, Andrew. We got it. We got a good one here. Hey, sir. Yeah. Heating up. Sir. No, he hurt. And we got an official timeout. Hey. Senior Gabe O'Brien coming off the court. He was limping. It was an official timeout so he could have time to get off the court and be, be tended to. He just went back into the locker room. Uh, junior lefty, lefty shooter. Jalen Gallman just came out right back in. So no senior Gabe O'Brien on the floor for Bloomingdale. So Bloomingdale's gonna have to find a way to make up some of the, that point production. We got a foul. Down low on Christian Aguilera for Bloomingdale. And that puts Leonard in the bonus. Aguilera coming off. Tyler Smather is back in the game for Bloomingdale. Jaden Lacey at the line for Leonard. One and one. Hits the first one. It's a big shot. Five point Leonard lead. So without O'Brien on the floor for Bloomingdale, as Lacey misses the second end, we just have not seen a lot of two shots made at the foul line lately. It's been a lot of one, one for two, 0 for twos. Goldman behind the light, behind the arc, in and out. The lefty sharpshooter for the Bulls misses the three-point attempt to try to cut into the Leonard lead. So Leonard Ball, Bloomingdale kind of looking to press a little bit. Yes. Lacey. Dangerously at half court. Three point attempt. Pulls it. Wow. By Ginyard. Pulls a Willis Reed. Comes back on the court. Oh, and Blue with the rebound. Off it. Another offensive rebound, Andrew. Wow. But can't, can't finish it. Wide open in the corner, Willie Hayes doesn't get it, but I think he's fouled. Three shot foul. But fouls on the floor. For number 10, Donato Blue. So now in, in the- Bloomingdale's favor is they are um, already in double bonus. That's so. right, that's right. That was the 10th team foul on Leonard, so this will be two shots. It's Lawrence Bellamy, senior center for, for Bloomingdale. Not really known for his offense this season for Bloomingdale, the 6'3", 244 pound senior for the Bulls. On the court, alters a lot of shots on the defensive end. Again, free throws. misses free throws. 0 for 2 on that attempt. Then we saw us on Tuesday, didn't we? Hey, uh, unfortunately, hey, yes. So, five point Leonard Lee. Under two minutes to go. Hey, 
Peterson to Vaughn. Smells like Dante Vaughn's gonna hit a three here late in the game. Lumido has really shut down Vaughn tonight though. Look at Leonard. Ooh, tried to draw a foul, Ginyer did. Did they call it? They called a timeout. They called a timeout. Looked like a clear, almost like a hockey slash on the floor. It really was, right? right. there on, on the Bloomingdale defender. Talking on. about Tuesday, do we think we're going to get a foul within the next 20 seconds here? Yeah, Tuesday night it seemed like Hillsboro, the girls team, just didn't want to foul at the end right. of the game. And we weren't quite sure what they were doing. It was a similar type situation, five point, six point deficit for them. And they never really wanted to foul the Bloomingdale girls. And uh, um, it, 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 it just didn't seem like that's what you do. You want to foul here near the end. So to answer your question, I would think they're going to foul here at I think some Coach point. Van Zandt's got that in his mind also. Yeah, that's, that's old Butler Bulldog mentality, right. down five. Like he had said, he wants all of his kids on his team, on the bench, or the kids on the floor, whether you're up 10, down 10, up five, down five, all with the same goal. We're here to win tonight. And whatever we have to do, doesn't matter who scores, it's whoever is open. So he'll probably foul here here shortly. And why not? Because yeah, point, Leonard hasn't shown that they can make two two free throws on, a, on right. the same attempt, same, uh, same possession. Extend the game as long as you got to. Bloomington a little slow out of that that timeout break. Kind of walking on the floor. They had to get reminded, hey, hustle out there, and they did. Okay, starting five. Not quite the starting five because Gabe O'Brien's still in the locker room for Bloomingdale. See if Bloomingdale's going to try to foul here, and they're not. Wide open layup. Great move. C.J. Peterson, senior for Leonard. They had a quick official timeout there. Wasn't quite sure the call to the scorer's table. Seven point Leonard lead, just over a minute to go in the game. Again, senior Gabe O'Brien is back out of the locker room, but he's on the bench for Bloomingdale after the brief injury that took him out a few possessions ago. Bulls bringing it up, they're gonna have to push, they're gonna probably need a three. O'Brien looking to check in to get back into the game. Great move by, move by Makula, follows the shot, gets a rebound. Don't have a lot of time to take it back out to the top, though. Almost stepped on the midcourt line for a backcourt violation, but it wasn't called. Gallman with the move, nice left-handed right. layup. Cuts it down to five. So it's a two possession game, under a minute to go. Turnover. Wow. Lermino chose to not try to foul there. Gallman again with the turnover. Boom, gets the lay in. Just like that, right. two quick baskets by, by Jalen Gallman. Gets Blumino back within one possession, down three. 35.5 seconds to go in the game. Now, I think that's a time where maybe uh, Leonard's athleticism and speed kind of shoots him Went in against the foot. them, yeah. Kind of sure. went against them. For sure. And so we got good drama, like we had said at the beginning of the, the telecast. Two up and coming programs with good young coaches here in Hillsborough County. Zorko Stoyakovic for Leonard and Sean Van Zandt for Bloomingdale having their teams playing hard tonight. Last regular season matchup of this season before both teams go to the respective district tournaments next week. We have a three-point Leonard game. They were up as much as 10 early in this quarter. Then there was a technical foul coming into a timeout um, on one of the Leonard players. Then a quick three-point uh, a layup and, and an and one opportunity and it was cut to five. It is now three as a three-point Leonard lead as it's 35.5 seconds to go in the game. Uh, it'll be Leonard Ball. Uh, I will Blumido. say, go ahead, we Andrew. do go down memory lane here. This is kind of like Butler Ball. It you is. Know, keep it close and let's try to pull it keep out us, at the keep end, it right? Keep close, like we said. Coach That's Van it, Santa, man. Butler alum. Good to see. Back-to-back -back national title games for the Bloomingdale Cup. Oh. So let's get back to the present day. And that was a foul on Rudy Hayes. At some point, they were going to have to foul. That really wasn't the situation right there to foul. But they'll take it. Um, they're in the bonus. It's the 18th foul in Bloomingdale. So this is a one-on-one -on -one opportunity for junior Terrence Ginyard. 
for Leonard. Senior Gabriel Bryant still wincing a little bit, some pain in his in his leg. He's taking on the ball game for Christian Aguilera. So this is one and one attempt. In the mix, first one, crucial moment. That's a big basket because now two. it's a two possession game. Even though it comes up, they don't have to take it through. They're going to need a quick basket, no doubt. So Ginger hits both shots for Leonard. It's a five point Leonard lead. 34.7 seconds to go in the game. Aguilera is going to inbound it for Bloomingdale and Gallman. Jalen Gallman came off the bench tonight. Former starter before his injury this season. They're going to need a quick He's play here. Gallman, Aguilera, Hayes. Hayes going to take three. He's got it. He had a good look at it. A little long. Rebound Leonard. Bloomingdale coming down to foul. Fouls on Jalen Gallman from Bloomingdale. So now it's about free throws. Can Leonard make their free throws at a crucial time and not keep Bloomingdale in the game? They got a five point lead with 16 and a half seconds to go. Very important one here, right? One and one? Absolutely. Get the front Still end. in the bonus. Nine, 19 foul on Bloomingdale. First tap is good. Then you miss three free throws in a row he's made. At a crucial time to extend the Longhorn B to six. Makes a second one, four in a row. Cool as a cucumber. That's it. Lawrence Ginger, seven point Leonard B. Bloomingdale needs a quick basket and a quick foul. Taking a lot of time, can't find the handle. Aguilera back to Makula, the reverse misses. Rebound blue. Leonard with his holder at half court and the foul. And that's the ball game. That would be a seven point victory for the Leonard Longhorns, their fifth in a row. They improved to 16 and nine on the season as they head into their uh, class 7A district eight. District tournament next week. Uh, they will open up on Monday and a 4-5 matchup in that district tournament at Newsom. And Leonard's gonna be tough to beat. They're gonna be tough to beat. They've gained a lot of confidence over the second half of the season. Again, they've now won five in a row for Coach Stoyakovich. Seven point win for Leonard here. Uh, and Bloomingdale, the host team, Bloomingdale Bulls, fall to 14 and 10. They will go to their respective district championship next week as the three seed in class 6A, District 8. They will open up Tuesday night, um, the early round games in that district. Uh, the higher seeded team will all, will all host. So Bloomingdale will host King High School Tuesday night here at Bloomingdale High School. Uh, they will look to advance to possibly play Tampa Bay Tech or Leto on Wednesday night. Uh, again, Leonard will go to Newsom High School on Monday night. Winner there gets the top seed on Wednesday night down at Lakewood Ranch. But again, Coach Stoyakovich is Leonard Longhorns. Now they finish the regular season with five wins in a row to improve to 16-9 and nine on the season. Uh, High-flying team. Fun team to watch. Fun a fun team to, uh, to watch. Watch the game. Very athletic team. Uh, they got a couple guys that are going to try to play football in the fall. They do have somebody off the bench, DJ Jones, that's going to run track here near the end of the school year as soon as uh, basketball season has the lights go on a little bit here. We got, we got, we, we got, we got at least a Friday night this, at yeah. Bloomingdale. Friday night at Bloomingdale. They're, they're, it's an early Friday it night. It is an early Friday night. Yeah, that was a you quick game. We got to go home. That actually, the way you said that, it was a quick game. So It was a quick game. So we got a little bit lights left for the end of our telecast here as we're streaming live on Facebook, Stream Live Tampa, our YouTube channel, Stream Live Tampa, and also on Twitter, at Stream Live Tampa. I want to thank all of our sponsors that we mentioned tonight and the ones that we've we've had in the past and any that we have not, weren't able to mention tonight and obviously our future ones. And thanks for being here with us, right? Like this is, this is yeah, fun. Yeah, this absolutely, fun. yeah. Give us your feedback. Yeah, and, and the few people that chimed in, 
um, on social media with their comments, and I they liked your one point dunk That's stat right. comment. <laughs> that was that was a lot of fun. Um, and and look in the future, I know uh, locally local newspaper Osprey Observer. We're going to be meeting with them here here shortly. They're they're going to do a piece on Stream Live Tampa. Um, with I think we should also guys. have um, Terrence Ginyard coming out here to kind of chat. And I see. think so. I believe we're going to get Terrence. We are. Coach Coach said he'd, uh, he'd okay. be out here in a little bit. I think yeah, he wants so to kind of address the team. interview here at the end uh, before we sign off for the evening. We'll have junior point guard Terrence Ginyard for the Leonard Longhorns. He had a big game tonight. Uh, had a brief, was out of the game briefly yeah. with, a, with an injury. We'll make sure he's okay. Good to see him back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's the one that broke your... Uh, assist record. The school's record, the right? The school's record <laughs> that, that was set by you. I tell you, because that was the first one. That's uh, why. That's <laughs> right. That's right. You were also the first quarterback. I was the first quarterback. Yeah, yeah. Too. Actually, pretty cool. Got a nice plaque from Coach Zarko uh, that yeah. they had. You know, Absolutely. me uh, cradling the ball in the fetal position because we weren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, again, uh, tonight a 57-50 uh, victory for Leonard over Bloomingdale as we await uh, junior point guard Terrence. Ginyard for Leonard. Uh, see if we can get an interview with him. We're yeah. hoping that maybe we're going to do this interview in the, the light. Yeah, possibly. I hope so. <laughs> uh, we do want to thank Coach Van Zant, very gracious host uh, for the hometown Bloomingdale Bulls. Uh, great, great conversation with him today. It was good, good, good information on his team and a little bit of what his coaching philosophy is like. And, uh, you know, all the high school coaches that we've spoken with so far. Uh, in this early calendar year here in 2020. Um, they've all been very gracious hosts and they're eager to have us back. Yeah. Um, and we're looking forward to doing that um, as, as quick as we can. Uh, I know we're going to do a couple postseason games next week. Uh, one night we'll have boys, next night we'll have a girls game. And then like we had said earlier, we're we're ready to get on the on the diamond. That's right. For uh, baseball and softball action here in Hillsborough County. So again, a seven point win for the Longhorns tonight over the Bloomingdale Bulls. Looking forward, uh, what do you think about this, this matchup versus Newsom? Well, we covered Newsom a couple weeks ago in their loss at Durant. Uh, they have a couple three point shooters um, and Durant uh, didn't really have one of the, the best seasons, but they finished strong and they play very hard for Coach Hayes. Uh, Coach Jacobs, Newsom Wolves, uh, very senior-laden lineup. Yeah. Um, I think they start three or four of them. Um, and it, they, they can shoot the three. Uh, they, they'll, they'll be ready Monday night with Leonard, but that'll be a good matchup. That's be that'll a be a matchup. really good matchup Monday night. And the winner there takes on the top seed, Lakewood Ranch, um, later in the week. That would be Wednesday night in okay. Class 7A, District 8. And Bloomingdale, with Bloomingdale having King here on Tuesday night uh, in a 3-6 matchup, once you get in the district tournament, like we said earlier this week with the girls, at some point you're going to be, hey, this is our last game. This is our last half. Sure. This is our last quarter. You never want to overlook anybody. But the, the Bulls um, with head coach Sean Van Zant, um, he, he, you know, he, had, he touched on it today. He's not looking past anybody. Uh, he wanted them to be focused tonight, have all 12 players in like he, like he likes to coach, um, and then have them ready for King on Tuesday night as the, the Lions from King High School will be here uh, to open district tournament play in Class 6A, District 8. I think we're seeing quite a congregation of uh, senior senior players, uh, parents, and, and family in the back I here. I think so, yeah. That's what, you, that's what you're seeing behind us, all the, the banners, balloons, the fun senior night signs that always happen. It, it was senior night here at Bloomingdale as they celebrated the, the high school careers of Gabe O'Brien and Lawrence Bellamy. O'Brien, uh, I believe, recovered from that brief injury. I know he wasn't on the floor a lot near the end, so it was a little different for Bloomingdale. Yeah, um, he definitely did carry the torch for him, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so once uh, the, the, the kids come back out of the locker room, we'll see if we've got Lawrence, excuse me, Terrence Ginyard the junior point guard, and see if we can grab him for an interview. Here on Stream Live Tampa. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Stream Live Tampa. Follow us on Facebook, and when you do, share that with everybody. Stream Live Tampa is our Facebook page. We are at Stream Live Tampa on Twitter. Retweet 
favorite. Retweet again. That's right. Um, that's right. We need it. And, is, and if you're looking for uh, the you know, advertising opportunity, sponsorship opportunity, we welcome any small, medium, large business in in the local area and, and beyond to uh, to d discuss those possibilities and be a part of the Stream Live Tampa revolution, like we said earlier. Right. Um, you know, we had, had Andrew and myself, Andrew Burdick, myself, Jim Delaney, lo local products. Stream Live Tampa is a local local company trying to gain a little bit more exposure, a little bit more fun for high school athletics. Every athletic director, high school coach, players, parents, friends, families are all very excited about what Stream Live Tampa yeah. is doing. We have we have a grand vision. We're keeping it fairly local right now. Um, as a as a local boy, I'd like to chime in. You know, there's a lot of good talent in this area. You know, it's Absolutely. a very, very rich area for it. And, um, you know, the exposure isn't, isn't quite there sometimes. And, you know, it's a good way to get you know, maybe your athlete out, your, you know, your child, or maybe a friend's child. You know, it's just a good way for, you know, put it online and maybe a college coach sees and it's an opportunity that you never know um, uh, that could happen. Yeah, I was going to touch on that. That is something that some of us at Stream Live Tampa, uh, we're not just in in video production with some of us. There, you know, we've been around a while. Uh, this is not just anybody out of nowhere. I'm a longtime resident of Valrico myself. Um, a lot of college coaches that we discuss with. I was talking with a couple today just um, about what they're looking for, just having casual conversations with them. And these types of uh, live streaming opportunities, coaches can tap into and watch a game, and they might be from out of town. They can That's sit it. there and watch a game, especially if it's a kid that they might already know, but they could discover somebody. That's it. Um, so we, you know, we're here to help. We're here to help and uh, gain exposure. And the kids, the coaches, the parents, families all really like to watch the games live and then they can go back and watch it pre-recorded we have all of our games that we've done this year on our youtube channel um you can go back and watch i know we do we'll we go back do. and watch and we, we listen do. and break it down and, and talk about and how, how can we improve and hey this was good this was a good game we we, we have a good time doing this and uh let's we'll see i think some of the uh, leonard looks like leonard's coming I'm out excuse though. myself go get go grab terrence yeah okay it looks like we got junior point guard terrence ginyard coming for a post-game interview. Hard-fought battle. Terrence, a little bit of, a little limping a little bit over. Terrence, how are, how are you, sir? Good. Uh, Jim Delaney, Terrence. nice to meet you. Great game tonight. Yeah. First uh, ankle, knee, what knee. happened? I just uh, bummed it, a little sore. Yeah, just part of the game? Yeah, yeah, we saw you off on the side. You were out a little bit. Um, so tell, tell us tonight, uh, you guys started out, you know, quick 5-0 lead, and then you guys found yourself down seven at one yeah, point. Yeah, I think we just started. We weren't playing defense hard enough. We was lagging on back shots, and then we didn't find a way to pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are a fast-moving uh, ball club, and you like to create your own uh, shots and create your own uh, breakaways and stuff like that. We noticed that at half court a couple of times, you and Dante Vaughn um, creating breakaways. So is that something you guys – practice something yeah, we, little we like to get it out fast yeah. put, up, put up a lot of points basically yeah and we know they like to play slow so we had to learn how to ha run off sure basically. sure yeah no yeah absolutely and, and we could tell that you, as soon as you guys want to get, get a chance to, to push you guys are going to do that so uh tell us about i know you set a a, a school record yeah. earlier this year and um assist record for the season assist record yeah mm -hmm. do, do you know who whose record you broke no this gentleman right here, Andrew Burdick. <laughs> yeah, and then only a, a junior, right? You average six and a half feeds a game, six and a half assists a game. Um, yeah, so a, g a good point guard like that. And you're a junior, yes, correct? Sir. So we go into – we'll get one more question for you, and we know it's a, a late Friday night. You guys got to get back down to Ruskin. Um, uh, heading into the district tournament, you guys open it against Newsom on Monday. Tell us a little bit uh, what you're expecting. Um, I feel like a slow game. They put like boom in there, but it's a yeah. slow game. Uh, shoot a lot of threes. Yeah. They try to slow us down in transition. Yeah. yeah, but you guys have won, I think, five in a row now. Mm -hmm. 16 and 9. You started slow this season mm -hmm. and then really picked it up. Uh, so Coach Stojakovic lets you guys play mm -hmm. a lot. And uh, he's, he's one of the, the good young coaches in the area. So we're happy to see him against Coach Van Sant mm -hmm. as well from Bloomingdale. So, um, again, Terrence. Thank you so much. Great Thank game you. tonight. Good luck in districts. Thank you. Uh, we'll look at our schedule, see if we can do another Leonard game if you guys keep advancing. And if not, we'll, we'll watch from afar. 
Yes, sir. And uh, good luck the rest of the way. Yes, thank All you. Right, thanks, sir. It was Terrence Ginyard, junior point guard for the Leonard Longhorns, who led his team tonight to a seven-point victory, 57-50 here at Bloomingdale. And we will, looks like we are signing off.